Hi everybody, it's Cynthia from Boris Paceman and I'm here with another haul video for you. And because you can see me, you can probably tell that I'm going to show you some clothes. But not just any clothes, I'm going to show you some pop culture clothes and costumes, most of which came from the Goodwill bins, also known as the Goodwill Outlet or the Goodwill Marketplace. I haven't been there in ages and I finally went this week. And the only downside was I found some amazing Disney princess costumes that were just destroyed. I mean, there was this gorgeous Snow White, one of their higher end ones, and it looks like somebody had accidentally, I assume, taken a pair of scissors right to the front. And I'm gonna show you some today that do have their flaws, but they're okay, but slashed through the front, ugh, couldn't do it. Although, you know what? You know what? Oh, I just realized I should have bought it anyway, and I actually could have cut it off and made it a short Snow White dress. It would have been really cute. Oh well, live and learn. Anyway, my Goodwill bins is $2.49 a pound. I wish it was 99 cents a pound like it is for a lot of other people. So I pay a little bit more, but every, everything I bought at the bins, I'm gonna to try to keep it together so you can see it, cost me a total of $20. Keep that in mind. Everything I'm gonna show you for the next few minutes, total of $20. Starting with one of my favorite, I got two pieces that are kind of a grown up young girl version of the same thing. It's so big, I can hardly show you. I'm gonna pull back a layer a little bit more. Uh, so it is, oh, a little girl's, <laughs> um, it's a little girl's party dress or costume. The company, hang on a minute, I meant to relook at the company on this one. I don't know the company, it's got a moon, it doesn't have a name. It just has like a moon and stars on the tag. But it is a beautiful dress. And I don't know if it was made, I bet you it wasn't made for a costume. I bet you it was made for somebody to actually wear for a party. It's like a velvety fabric on top. It's got all this princess detailing and it's got this crazy hoop skirt. So it stays open um, around the girl's leg. So it is a full on princess dress for a little girl. It's got snowflakes on it it's got this sparkly bows and ribbons it's really beautiful and i'll tell you if i can't get twenty dollars on this alone then i i shouldn't be doing this because this is so beautiful and i don't see anything at all wrong with it i think somebody just grew out of it and they donated it to goodwill all right that was the biggest one i could pull in a little bit well it wasn't the biggest one but you'll see this was my next favorite piece. Look at this cute Alice in Wonderland. I can never get the hang of this video thing, sorry. Opposite, I always remember it's opposite. Lovely Alice in Wonderland. I'm gonna tip it down just a hair. Um, so it's a, it is a Disney Alice in Wonderland dress from a couple of years ago. It's not really old. It's got Velcro on the back. Um, but I've never seen an Alice dress before. Now, again, it's got condition issues. If you look the bow, you can see it's really chewed up on the ends. Um, it's horribly wrinkled. And I don't know, these dresses, these polyester dresses say not to wash them, uh, not to dry them in the dryer, I guess, because literally they'll melt. So if you know how to get like the wrinkles out of this dress, I would love to know because I would love to unwrinkle it because um, it is very cute. Now, because it is damaged, oh, also, I found one online. Oh my gosh, the more I look at it, the more damage I see. I don't now I'm wondering if I can salvage this. Look, I just found a hole right here, and there's some holes under the sleeves. I might have to take a few stitches on this one. There's also supposed to be a petticoat under it, which there isn't. But here's what I'm thinking is if this dress new is. $40. Um, that's crazy. So if I sold this, even if I sold this for $12, it probably cost me, this isn't even weigh a pound, it's probably cost me $2 pops. If I sell it for $10, $12, I make a profit and somebody gets a really beautiful little dress for their child to play in. Um, it does, like I said, it has its issues, but I think we can deal with those issues be for inexpensive play dress. Um, but I did just notice that other issue that I'm going to have to deal with. Oh, I don't like the height on this camera. Sorry. I'm going to do another adjustment. Excuse me while I do that. Oh, that's not good. 
Sorry. Okay, maybe that'll be better. All right, the next one is from a company called Fantasy Play Clothes. Now, they had a couple of these, and I really wanted the other one, but it was, again, it was just, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. So, Fantasy Play Clothes. It's very cute. Little girl's little fantasy dress. It does, again, have its issues. It needs a few stitches here, which I might do myself. Um, and uh, it's really sweet. It's got a little petticoat underneath. It's like a, you know, for a toddler, adorable. Uh, and um, again, probably cost me 75 cents. But they had a pink one that I really loved but it was so dirty that I just, I couldn't even take a chance. All right, another big one. Oh, shoot, I have to grab something, hold on. Had this all arranged, and these costumes are slippery. This costume, this costume doesn't have much value as I thought it was going to, but, so this, I can show you an idea, it's very long. This is actually a Barbie costume in here Barbie costume from uh, Ruby's uh, costume company so it's I, I guess it's made for an adult I, it's I don't know it's made for a small adult or a teen I guess and that might be my other problem is that it might be too cutesy for a teen um, the hem has some a little bit of issues but mostly, again, it's in pretty good shape. Um, this one doesn't sell for as much. Not, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. It goes for, I want to say the new ones are only selling in the 20, 30 range. So, you know, I might get 15 bucks out of it. It's cute. Okay, I can't, well, I would say I can't leave the costume behind, but I actually did. I left behind, oh, I left behind about a dozen costumes. Um, several of which were those one-piece jumpsuits that they make like for the boys um, like Captain America and Iron Man and those things always have other pieces that go with them and the polyester starts to stick together it's very weird um, but this girl stuff I can usually move like I said not just for Halloween but for dress up so this one also has a wire in it driving me crazy so this obviously it's a little bell dress it's quite short it's got all this detailing on it, and it's got a wired crinoline, again. Um, very cute. The back is missing, is, um, you know, has some issues, but n very fixable. Um, and considering that uh, this thing would probably be $30 new, it's not bad uh, for, you know, if I can sell it for like 15 to somebody, it's adorable. I'm actually thinking, I think it's the same size as the Alice dress. I may put them together because somebody who's handy with a, a needle can do all the fixing and have some really fun little costumes for their daughter, granddaughter. Ooh, it's falling. All right. Now we are going to move into some shirts. Put my stuff closer. So, still on the bins. Costumes and t-shirts. So I got this Bowie Tour 83. I don't think this is original. If it was, that would really be something. This is the tag, which I'm not even sure what that says. C-H-A-S-O-R, Chase or something, I don't know. Um, you know, it's a cute little crop top. I should be able to get 20 bucks for it or so if I can get, I don't know if you'll probably won't see it on camera. It's got a little bit of a stain here, but otherwise it's in good condition. So that needs to be fixed. Uh, if you watch my videos, excuse me, um, you will have heard me say a dozen times, I'm not buying any more Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, but I bought Nightmare Before Christmas. I bought Nightmare Before Christmas. And those came in a bag with two more figures that I actually already sold. But I didn't mean that. I really meant clothing. I am not buying any more Nightmare Before Christmas clothing. <laughs> yes, I bought more Nightmare Before Christmas clothing. 
So this is an official jacket. It's a very lightweight hoodie, and it's got this really cute, try to get a better version of it, here we go. Really, really cute print with the different color jack faces. Um, you know, it's been worn, no question, but it's in good shape. Again, I can't really see anything wrong with it. Uh, I'm kind of surprised it ended up in the bins, but it happened. So this, again, probably weighs about a pound. I might have paid about $2.50 for that. That was a good deal. Um, this is another one of those, my heart over my head. So we've got a Minions shirt. Don't normally buy Minions because there are so many. However, this one is, if you can get that, Minions Mayhem. Universal Studios shirt. So this is a shirt from the ride at Universal, the new ride. Um, so for that, I thought it was worth it. It's a big, generous size. I think somebody who's a fan of Universal might want to pick it up for that. Um, it was in the store at the Goodwill store for $2.99. I got it at the bins. So, I don't know, again, I probably paid a dollar, dollar twenty-five for it, I'd say. Um, it's cute. That's another thing I said, never gonna buy any more of those. Okay, this is one of these killer. This shirt that I'm about to show you, in good condition, I keep forgetting where the camera is, sorry, I keep looking at myself. This shirt in good condition, it sells for $35. This shirt is not in good condition. I'm hoping it's salvageable. So here we go. Look at this. Super Mario Strikers Nintendo. Oh, Nintendo 2005. Mario on the back. GameCube on the side. I think it was... I want to say it was a promo shirt for either people wore this at an event. I'm not really sure, but it's filthy. I, I mean, I don't even know if, you, if the camera's going to pick it up, but um, you can see the marks all over it. There's a bad one. So I don't know if they're going to come out, but again, this thing weighs ounces, ounces. So I probably paid a quarter for it. And if I can get it clean, if I can get it really clean, I can sell it for $35. If I can get it mostly clean, I still might be able to flip it for 15 because it's fairly rare. So maybe get put my husband to work. My husband's the cleaner. Um, this was a weird one, and I thought it turns out there's quite a few of them already on eBay, so it may not even sell. It's a little tank, Sex in the City 2 from Sky Vodka. Um, yeah, again, fun little girl's tank, a woman's tank. Uh, you know, again, good condition. And I thought it was kind of unusual because it was, you know, well, it was movie, anything. If it's movie TV, I'm taking it. Um, there actually are about 10 of these listed right now on eBay. Some of them, like, only for $3. Other ones going up for 12 to 24 I know, I'm probably going to have trouble shifting it until Sex in the City, somebody does something major, like Sex in the City makes a comeback some way. Um, or till everybody else sells theirs, but you never know. Again, I paid probably a quarter for it, so wasn't gonna leave it behind. Uh, this one was a little more of a chance for me. We bought, if you watch my videos, I don't know if I showed it, I think I did. I bought a skateboard deck the other day, and this is Santa Cruz skateboard shirt. Um, Santa Cruz is a skateboard company, but it's also a town um, up that has a boardwalk. It's the only thing out here that has a board, well, kind of, that has a boardwalk, like the boardwalks in New Jersey where I grew up. Um, it actually has a ride boardwalk. Uh, it's a little further north of Los Angeles, heading up towards San Francisco. And, um, you know, it's got this really nice sort of 80s look. I don't think this is an 80s shirt. Sorry, I don't know what, again, the lighting. One of these days I'm going to figure out the lighting. Um, it's it's got this 80s sort of feel to it. I don't think it is an 80s shirt. I see that somebody's still making Santa Cruz shirts new on eBay. So I don't know if this might be. It's got a tag that says original Santa Cruz. So I've checked the other ones that are up. But it's a fun shirt. Again, streetwear. I think I should get at least 14 for it. 
and uh, possibly more if it really is vintage uh, more this was this was kind of a again just I, I couldn't resist because it was a TV show and one of my favorite things dance show fly America's best dance crew shirt so um, if you're not familiar America's dance best dance crew is a TV show, kind of like So You Think You Can Dance, but it's for dance crews, so they're the street dancers that do like breaking and all of that. Um, and they have a TV show where they compete. I don't know if they still run it. I guess they do. Uh, so this is a shirt for one of the competitors. I don't know this person, this person, this crew, um, but I'm hoping that it will sell. I did not look up that. I looked at America's Best Dance Crew. There's only like one shirt up. There's Jabberwocky shirts up, which I have one of their shirts. This is in good condition. It was a promo shirt, uh, looks like, for the show. And if that, if it's as rare as it seems to be, and that group is really popular, yeah, I should get 14 to 20 bucks for it. Um, again, this I didn't even think twice about because it's a movie shirt. So, Paranormal Activity shirt. And then it says, I saw it first, October 18th, 2011, tweet your scream. So this was a shirt, clearly a promo shirt they gave out for the premiere. Um, so maybe somebody who saw it that day and didn't get their shirt, wanted to get it. It was in the stores because it's got its $2.99 tag. Nobody bought it. It ended up in the bins and I got it for you know, a buck, maybe. Hard to say again. And the last of the bins. Oh, not the last of the bins, I have one more thing. Is this Ron Swanson's Food and Stuff Nintendo mashup. This is Parks and Rec. If you know that show, very funny. It's from Ripple Junction. I tend not to buy Ripple Junction shirts just because there are so many of them and a lot of times the quality is not fantastic. The quality on this one's really nice. And there's not a lot of these up. There's one that hasn't sold, but I can't imagine this not selling. Parks and Rec, Nintendo combo. So cute. So the only thing that might hurt me on this one is the size. Oh my God, <coughs> like you guys are seeing that light flashing on and off. If you know why that's happening, if it's because I'm blocking the light and bringing it down um, and how I could stop that from happening, I will certainly fix it. But yeah, the light's going on and off. <coughs> um, let me show you a couple other t-shirts and I'll show you the last big thing I got at the bins. So before I went to the bins, um, the day before I did go to Salvation Army was having 60% off anything that July and back. So I grabbed, oh, I actually didn't huh, take it back. I paid full price for this, but they only had it marked at $3. So three inches of blood shirt. If you're going to trash, trash with your vest on. Apparently this is a group, a rock group from the 80s and I think it really is a retro shirt you can see the tags really mangled um, I don't know it's horror it's bands this, this kind of stuff usually does pretty well for me so I figured I'd grab it uh, it does look like it doesn't sell for a whole lot maybe again I might get 14 for it I might not um, and then the other wild card this one I did pay half price so this one was th oh no I full paid full price for this one too so but three dollars which is unusual usually Salvation Army charges more for their shirts so this is 94 WYSP radio station, the Danny Bonaducci show, Radio Outlaw. So you guys remember Danny Bonaducci from Partridge Family. Um, he's been a radio DJ, uh, kind of a shock jock as they call him, for the last few years. Um, so this is when his radio show, I think this was in Philadelphia. So. Um, Shirt's in excellent condition, probably never been worn. It was probably a promo item that was given out and the person never wore it and they donated it to Salvation Army and I got it for three bucks. I'm thinking, I'm gonna hold out on that one. I think I can get 20 or more because if you know that radio station, if you enjoyed his show, that's a rare shirt to find. Um, two last things, oh, well, maybe one more thing. Sorry, I lied. Um, this I picked up at Salvation Army also, so the glare. This is a Tim Burton Alice in Wonderland folder set, you know, back to school type folders. Um, it's new, it was marked down, I think that's a Target, oh, actually Walmart. So somebody bought it for their kid, didn't, never used it, tossed it. Very pretty. 
the thing with stuff like this, so I got it for, <clears throat> I think this was on the markdown. I got it for like $1.25. The thing with stuff like this is, it's not gonna hit the price point that I like, which is like a $15 price point. You know, it's two folders. It might go for more than that. I didn't find anything like it online, so it might be rare enough. There's certainly enough fandom for Alice and for the Tim Burton Alice that I might be able to get 15 all in with the shipping, <coughs> um, which maybe isn't asking too much if you really want these folders and they're rare. I thought they were very pretty. Uh, two other things I want to show you. This I meant to watch before I told you about it. I actually bought this the, when we went to Savers ooh, last week. Well, it's where I got the Nightmare Before Christmas figures. I found this. Dollhouse World CD collection. So I guess Dollhouse World magazine used to turn out, or still does, I don't know, these CDs um, on how to do things for your dollhouse. But this is the Halloween edition that shows you how to make little spooky things for your dollhouse. What are we making? Millinery for a sorceress. Realistic wire-free pumpkin lights. Spiders, pumpkins, bats, and cats. Creepy crawlies. Hocus pocus. Frightening ghoulish goodies. Trick or treat. Halloween fancy dress outfit and some delightful skull duggery. 29 articles carefully selected and made into a CD so you can flip through the pages, print them out, and a short video showing you how to make a basic pumpkin with a little pumpkin kit. So basically they just took pages from their magazine and put them on uh, CD-ROM, but I'm thinking because it's miniatures and it's Halloween, um, this should go. I couldn't find another one like it. I also could not find anything on this. Look how cute this is. So it's Legends of the Guardians. Something about the owls. I keep taking my glasses off and then I can't read. The Owls of Gahuli. <laughs> Sounds like um, Silicon Valley. So I guess this was a game and a movie. What this is, is a stationary box. And inside are cards and envelopes. They're, they're just empty. They're just blank cards very pretty design so if you're an owl fan or really any kind of fantasy fan even Harry Potter fans I think would really like this so it looks like a little book um, it does come from uh, Warner Brothers so it's labeled Warner Brothers on the back it's a stationary set on the side uh, I just thought it was really pretty, and it was a TV movie, you know, game promo type item, which is the kind of thing I like to buy. I have no idea what it'll go for, but I'm going to aim on the higher side. I might, it's got some issues, though. Some of the cards have problems. I might aim at 19 with shipping on top of that. It's a little bit chunky. Uh, but I thought it was a beautiful, beautiful art. Okay. Last thing, which is so big, I can't even hold it up in the frame. So let's see what I can do here a little bit so with everything I got okay so those last couple t-shirts and those last little chunky things I showed you didn't count but all of the other shirts all the costumes remember I paid $20 all in at the bins including this 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 oh my gosh look at what this is this is a wedding dress yes I found a wedding dress beautiful lace wedding dress with a enormous train. I can't even get to the end of it. Here it goes. Oh, it's still going. It's still going. It's still going. There's the end of the train. I think it was handmade. It doesn't seem to have, it doesn't have any tags. And just the way the zippers set in, um, I think, it, I think it was handmade. But look at this detail. Look at this. I don't know how well to pick up. Beautiful lace on the sleeves lace cuffs and then there's the same lace covering all the way down the train and then this satiny train that like I said just goes on and on and on and on <sighs> amazing it's beautiful and it doesn't look like it's it, I don't again I don't see anything wrong with it I said that about the costumes and I found things wrong with it but um, I don't see anything wrong with this now I don't think anybody's gonna buy this for their wedding, but <clears throat> I do think somebody will buy it for a costume in a play or a movie, um, or it would make a super 
zombie bride dress, if you don't mind ruining it. Buy this dress, cut it up, cover it in fake blood, do whatever you need to do, and you can turn it into super zombie bride, corpse bride. You want to cosplay as the corpse bride or something, you know, here we go. Um, it is quite small, so, you know, size there. I'm going to, since it doesn't have a tag, I'm going to have to just measurement it up and um, put it out there. It's going to cost a bit to ship because this train with it oh, makes it quite heavy. But, so I probably paid, I want to say I paid $5 based on the weight, which is kind of crazy because I said my whole order was only 20 but I wasn't going to pass it up. I, I wouldn't, I don't grab, there's a lot of like bridesmaids dresses that show up at the bins and I don't buy those. I sometimes think that I should because they probably make good costumes, but this, this was just really lovely and um, I, yeah, I, I couldn't resist it. So <clears throat> that's what I got. Oh my gosh. That weighs a ton. I'll put that out of the way. <sighs> my chair stuck. That's it. That's exhausting. This thing is heavy. That is everything I got at the bins this week and my tiny little Salvation Army run. This weekend, I will be doing my big run, my favorite store in Anaheim Thrift and the other thrift stores out in that part of town while my husband has his model meetings this weekend. Uh, so that should be great and I should means I should have by Sunday another big haul if I do well. I am kind of sad there was no good estate sale this week. There really isn't one this week either. I think I get my best stuff from estate sales. I mean, these thrift stores are super, but they're not the best stuff because it's really, you know, there's so much competition and the prices are so much higher. So I'm kind of sad that there's no estate sale this weekend and I can't do garage sales because we have to go to this meeting, but um, I still expect to find some good things. Uh, one last thing with eBay. It's been pretty good this week. We had a really great end of last week with some big items that I might, I'm waiting till everybody gets them and is happy with them. And then maybe we'll talk about them next week or I'll do a solds video. If you want to see a solds video, let me know. Um, otherwise, you know, sales have still been pretty good. We've been really pushing it to try to get our store up and moving as we head into the holidays. So we'd love to have you come visit. We're Boris Basement on eBay. There's a link down below in the comments. And come on over and if there's something you like, make us an offer if you don't like my price. <laughs> we are always open to offers. Oh, and for the rest of this weekend, if you're watching this new on the August 10th, 11th, somewhere in there, until August 14th, we're running a buy one, get one on most of our t-shirts. Not all of them, but most of them. So if you have two shirts, that you like in our store, you can get one for free when you buy one. So come on over and do that. Also leave me comments if you have anything to say about any of these things, if you know how to get wrinkles out of those costumes, those polyester costumes without them going up in flames or melting or whatever. And I'd love to see your pop culture finds. If you found anything cool this week, tell me about it, link me to it, send me your haul videos. I'd love to see what you got. So go on out there, find some cool items and make your own pop culture profits. See you later.